are you? What do you do? Where do we find you? What's happening? It's a year update. Well, I'm Doodle Noggin. Well, my name's Kate from Doodle Noggin. And welcome to our booth where we do art, creativity, and community. Those are our big things that we like to focus on. And the best place to find you? It's Instagram and YouTube, at Doodle Noggin. <laughs> now we got a lot going on. We are plenty yeah, to keep busy. Awesome. Yeah, we got all this. We've got our online coaching courses. Got a new name. What, what's this all about? So we are now Guardians of the Four States. I mean, we changed our name. We wanted to cover more than just Southwest Missouri. Um, we do you know, Southeast Kansas, Northeast Oklahoma, uh, Northwest Arkansas, and you know Southwest Missouri. But we're still doing the same thing, same purpose, same everything. We just have a new name, and we, you know, it's more broad now. Best place to find you on uh, Facebook and Instagram, Guardians of the Four States. It looks like you got slimed. How do you feel? One particular point, this is actually a few days ago, and I'm finally recovering. It's not washing off. Yeah. I mean, haunting pizza places is exhausting and you need a break once yeah, in a while. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kendra. I'm the Ginger Dryad. I make pretty much anything in the realm of mushrooms, fairy-ish, anything like flower crowns, mushroom hats, fidgets. I love to crochet and I've been doing it for almost a year and a half. And the flower crowns have become a signature for me that I wear almost every day. So I love bringing it to my everyday life. And where can we find you? I can be found on Instagram at the Ginger Dryad. I do not have a shop yet, but I take orders on Instagram. These are my favorite characters from Top Gun. Highway to the Hi, my name is Justin, and this is Darcy. We are Inksy, and you can find us on Instagram, TikTok, and on Etsy. I do 3D prints, and she does crochet, painting, pins, too many things. You can, again, find us on Inksy, and we look forward to seeing you. I'm Sammy. Um, I run this little booth called School Dude. I make hair clips, keychains, prints of random anime characters, pretty much anything that's rainbow and pastel or anime. That's what you can find here. I'm on Instagram at School Dude. Same with TikTok, Facebook, and soon to be Etsy. Who's this? 
Who are you and where do we find you online? You can find me on the EXE Show 2.0 YouTube channel. Mr. Tom from the Nerd. What did you do to be jailed? It's terrible. <laughs> you just go with it and be like, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This has your doing all over it. Hi, my name's Alan Childers. Uh, I am from uh, Pittsburgh, Kansas. I sell fantasy artwork, um, digital prints. You can find me at ChildersArtStudios.com. Good morning guys, this is Nathaniel Thomas Stoins back at the booth. This is exciting, we're excited to be here. I got my first book out, Strife. Uh, this is the author, Donovan Lester. Without giving too much away, uh, it is a tragedy, very mature uh, comic that'll deal with a bunch of different like issues, that real life issues and what people kind of struggle with. Um, kind of kind of getting to the point of what exactly is good in the world. We've been developing it for five to seven years, and um, we it, it's exciting to have this first book out. We're really excited to uh, release the, the next few um, coming soon. Okay. Soon. Yeah. Okay. This is our Perfect. soft release right yeah, now. Yeah, soft, okay. soft release. Yep. First time at a convention. Awesome. Yep. That's why that's, we have beginners courses. That'll buff out. They got people. It's good. I'm just gonna go this way. Ow, my back hurts. <laughs> Sup, nerdlings? Sup, nerdlings? That was a look at our first convention of 2024. One of our favorites. Yeah, Neo Show Art Con. We love this one. We've been going to it for years now, watching it grow. And boy, has it. Yeah, it has. <laughs> it benefits the Arts Council there in the Osho. And it's it's so cool seeing how much it's grown. 
but we also had such a great time meeting up with our con friends, oh, our yes. local buddies. It's so funny. We get in there and the plan is to, you know, <laughs> make that first circuit around the floor and it never happens at a good click because we stop and talk to so many Oh, I people. know. We used to be able to do these things in like hour, two hours, like boom, 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 get our footage, get our stuff. We're good. We're go. Now it's like, it takes us just forever to get one row over, but I love it. I love our con friends. I love talking because to Because most of the time, this is the only time we get to see them. So it's like, <laughs> there's a lot of catching up to do. Aside from seeing the fantastic turnout and how much they had grown, we didn't go crazy with the pickup. So I'm very proud of us. We saved a little bit of money, which is good because there's many more conventions to come. Yes. One literally right around the corner. <laughs> so one thing that we picked up, it's a little plush pancake button. And why did we get this? We kind of got it for someone. We got it for Beardo. Because <laughs> it's a plushy pancake. He can lay his little head on. Because, you know, bearded dragons love to pancake out. So it's his own <laughs> little pancake. And it was a really cute idea, too. Because it's, <laughs> it's just this plush button. So it's... Buddy of ours he gave us some stickers at long last of Force Ghost Luke. And he looks great on there. I love him. I know, he does look great. And at, what do we always do with our stickers? We turn them into magnets. Boom. Naturally, you had to add something new to the jewelry I did. Collection. I needed to add new earrings. But I found my favorite, Blue Yoshi. Of all the Yoshis out there, the blue one is my favorite. So I was super excited to get him. So real quick, are they wooden or? Yeah, they are okay. wooden. They are carved wooden and painted. Well, they do incredible so, detail considering how small they, they are. are. And being amazing. wood, they're nice and lightweight. Yes, weight. nice lightweight. You also got some fun little fidget pieces here. I did. Little mushroom that I thought he looked like the one-up mushroom, which was funny because the girl I bought it from said that that's kind of what made her think of it too. And he, they're like fidget poppers, so they like pop out. I liked him and I could not decide between him and the little sunflower guy. So my lovely knight in shining armor here said, get both, hey, get both. <laughs> now these are crocheted, they're they knit. They are knit crocheted pieces. with just a little bit of stuffing in there. So this this counts as the this counts as my plushies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey. Basically, yeah, there's no like official there's plush. There's no like here. official what? like major plushie other than like a plush button what and what? And these little guys. And I wanted this one because it was like already kind of dirt colored look so i wouldn't feel bad if i got it dirty because it's like it already looks like dirt so. <laughs> to go along with the crocheted knit crafted art piece you also got a bouquet i did tom bought me a flower bouquet this Isn't was really clever yes, i've never seen i have never seen these. crocheted flowers and there were two different booths that were doing the crocheted flowers which is funny because i was like that must be the new trend this year but they had ones like this where it was just kind of like a single stalk with flowers on it and then they had like a whole full-on bouquet and this one just really caught my eye. And there's wire in there, so you can kind of manipulate the blossom the way you want it in there. And then these, obviously, are wired as well. So I just thought that was just really cute. Now, you collect the wooden roses from Renaissance Fair. I do. Every time I go to a Does Renaissance Fest. kind of maybe have a chance to be, like, the next collection, start a vase of crocheted flowers? Possibly, if that's something that becomes a thing. That could be cool. Yeah. You did get this uh, little guy right here speaking of the things that you collect 3d print. 3d printed is my big thing in the last two years or whatever but there was a little like bin of minis and so i got for valentine's day this little skeleton guy holding a heart and then a little tiny dragon so i can always take dragon with me everywhere i go they're both really cute they look fantastic and they're they very got some nice yeah got some nice them. movement on them i like how tiny they are because you can keep this in your pocket and these were super cheap if yeah, i recall three bucks a piece so, you know, if you've got like some little ones there who mm -hmm. are wanting to get something to take home yes. or even you yourself. If and you there was a whole variety of different ones in there. And uh, if you guys are watching this, little uh, tip, these would make great earrings. Oh, yeah, there we go. So you, because, I mean, I've, these are kind of the size of the dragon earrings I already have. So, like, you know, you could have lots of different things as earrings. So, little tip, maybe. We also lucked out and got to talk to Toyn's art With without out the overhead going no off. interruptions whatsoever <laughs> i think we need to go back and do it again something's wrong well artist and author were on hand offering up their comic strife here 
He said that the later prints will be colorized. Basically, he said that this small batch that they printed is their soft release. And once this is gone, you won't get the black and white one anymore. So, of course, we had to jump on getting the black and white one. And when the color one comes out, we'll probably pop on that one, too. Oh, definitely. And we made sure that they signed it so that when they're super big and it's not so much a matter of interruptions making it to where they won't talk to they us. They just won't it's talk to us. It's the fact that, you? you know, they've got like <laughs> so many gold rings and gold chains. I don't know rich people wear. Uh, <laughs> the, okay. <laughs> the last thing that we have actually... So this little girl was adorable. She brought a gem to me. And then she kept on giving because she had a bunch of little yeah. pieces, including some shark teeth. And I was having fun asking her, now, wait a minute. Are you telling me that there are sharks here? She said, no, no, there's not sharks here. And I go, well, where did you get the teeth if there aren't any sharks here? So she assured me there were no sharks there. It's, it reminds me of something like, like a fairy would like go around and like oh, nab from yeah. people and like keep in their little pouch, you know, grabbed a fairy and dumped her over and knocked her all her stuff out. Initially, I was thinking of getting a super small little jar and putting all of these in so I don't lose all the pieces. But now it's kind of sounding like you might run off with them to your fairy garden and give Who your knows? fae folk. I mean, like, look, there's little cards. I can play some cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Taking a look at the Neo Show Art Con of 2024. If you happen to be local to our area, we implore you to check it out next year. We'd love to see yes. you there. We'd love for you to experience it yourself. And this is a great reminder to keep that ear low. Listen for these local conventions, yes. even in your area. So many times people will say, oh, I wish we had something like that in our area. You probably you may, do. You may. <laughs> so you got to look. And, uh, you know, they need the support to help them keep growing, like Neo Show Art Con mm -hmm. is. <laughs> and we got to get it signed. It's signed. It's oh, what is it signed on the back? Perfect. Oh, you're ahead of the game. Dude, I saw. I saw Look at you go. <laughs> Nobody ever calls me not committed. And we already cannot wait to get back. But first, we have other conventions to go to. So we need to go and get ready for that. Yeah, so stay tuned to the channel. Guys, we've got a lot more conventions coming up this year. And if you see us at the convention, say hi. Come up and say hi. Because we want to say hi to you. And who doesn't want to meet the barrel? Exactly. Get your picture with it. All right, we need to clean this stuff up. There's not a lot to clean up, but we're going to be right back here with more pickups. Yep. I'm sure soon. <laughs> Bye, Nerdly. Bye, Nerdly. Prize. You can't win your own prize. Right. You've been in my garage for years. Wow. Oh, so that means you're going to have a spot for it. You always look so nervous when you're on camera. I, I am. I don't know what to do with my hands. So, Right. We're going to see how Star Wars the Star Wars people are, okay? Uh, <laughs> we're going to go from left to right. All right, tell me all these character names. Oh, boy. All right, that's uh, Padme Amidala. That's Darth right. Maul. That's uh, uh, Darth Grievous. Come on, not Darth Grievous. Okay. And, uh, oh, come on. And I cannot wait to... to... Per, to... Uh, per, procure them. I already procured them. You, you did procure, I did procure them. them. You got them. They're, they're, they're yours, mine. baby. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Come on, oh, that's, uh, that's Anakin. Let's see here. That is Obi-Wan, Lord Vader, Leia, uh, Stormtrooper. Who's this lady in the front? Oh, that's a lady. Oh, that's a lady. Oh my god. Oh, this looks good. That's not a lady. That lady's hairdo, man. Okay, the hairdo's kind of bad. YouTube, I'm a YouTuber. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> we got Han Solo, we got Tsubaka, we got Darth Vader. I'm sorry, who? Oh my god. Oh, wow. 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 We'll also accept... Jason Momoa. I, same. Same. Good currency. You sure, you sure, hey, 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 you know what you're doing? Yes, hey, hey, you're doing up with you, ma'am. We're having a coloring contest right now. That's now meaning today. Are you doing Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise? I already see a ghost on there. He's already a ghost right here. That's one of those. Let's get back there. I need a snowstorm. Oh, it's, it's a repo. I love that. I love that title now. That is solid. <laughs>
Darth Grievous. <laughs> you want to talk Star Wars, you come to the Ghostbuster table, all right? Name and age on the back. Name and age. <laughs> <laughs> and you got some flowers. <laughs> he named Darth Vader twice, one of them was Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs>